In this video, I will talk about how to send OpenCV images, which is mat format, to QML site, which is a tool in Qt. Before starting, I wanna talk about why I'm using QML, why I'm choosing QML. Basically, mainly in Qt, there are two types of tools about interface. One of them is widget application, Qt widget. One of them is Qt Quick, which we are calling it as QML generally. Uh, we generally choose one of these, but when we use when. And this video in Qt Videos or QML, which Learn Qt Guide uh, uploaded before, this is a very good video to learn about when you should use Qt Quick, when you should use Qt Widgets. You can check this later, but why I'm using Qt Quick? Because the Qt Quick is uh, created almost 10 years later from widgets, which is more and more old. But to be honest, the features, the visualization tools of Qt Quick more and more better than Qt widgets. That's what I experienced until now. That's the one of the reasons. On the other reason, uh, I use QML because I feel myself more and more free by you while using Qt Quick. You can control anything via on code. I don't like actually to drag, dragging buttons, dragging slide bars, dragging others. I just want to control anything via on code. So these are the main reasons why I'm using Qt Quick. To, before starting, I just want to talk about this. Then the next thing I want to talk about is why we need an interface while using OpenCV. To show that, I just want uh, I just made a simple example, which is which is just showing you a video frame like this. And in this video frame. Uh, for example, in the future or in your other projects, you just want to add um, some buttons, some other things, some other interface things to your projects. But only OpenCV, of course, not enough for this task. And you need a advanced tool, advanced interface tool to achieve this. That's why you should pass on other tools like Visual Studio or Qt to be able to uh, using OpenCV more and more properly. In this kind of visual, uh, GUI tools in OpenCV, of course very basic and doesn't let you to any advanced projects in your life. That's why we need a, another tool. Just I wanted to explain this also. Then let's um, pass what we want to do now. Close all projects open a new Qt Quick application and call it send open CV to QML and this before starting I also asked this question long time ago in Qt forum how to send open CV images to QML and they replied my question and I solved my problem in that time. There are actually two ways to send OpenCV images to QML site. One of them is using QQuick image provider class, which is in here, you can check later. The other one is which Greco uh, suggested, QAbstract table model. But this seems a more more proper way than the Q quick image provider because we don't only wanna send images, we wanna send images continuous, which is video. We wanna send actual video. That's why this is more better way. But I experienced both of them and uh, just cause of I wanna like that, I want to use Q quick image provider. Up to now, I'm using this class also, I didn't have any problem up to now, and in this you know, video also I wanna use this one. Also, not also I want to use 
this suggestion from here and actually this github page I want to use some things from here directly to copy not to lose time and let's starting before starting mm, let's add our OpenCV libraries to our profile config and package config yes I want to add this first then I want to add two class actually one of them is OpenCV image provider which is which will be our class sending images to QML site let's create that first one OpenCV image provider and next next finish the other class I wanna adding is streamer let's say video streamer and this is also done and this image provider part I just want to copy from Dev Thermocon GitHub page from here directly. This is CPP site, this is QML site. I will just take this part, jetter. Then just copying to here. I want to change this name to OpenCV Image Provider. This is P and replace all and nothing else let's see the cpp site and replace all again and this part is done I will just use this this basically doing request image using request image of OpenCV not OpenCV Qt image provider part which is in here and the other parts using this one updating triggering by the our video streamer CPP later will be triggered then this one if there is no image to sending QML site this one will be used which is a black image then image provider site is done let's continue with this site in this site actually we want to make this Q object because we will use some connection of this class and including Q object ah. and let's include others also which we will use q timer what else we wanna use we wanna use also open cv hpp and these are enough for now let's add in q object also here okay and also I wanna add the structure here I need some signals signal is will be avoid let's say new image this will emit our images and I wanna add a just add an I'll say streamer function which is let's say stream video 
and anything else I need some private things which will be frame video capture for streaming and also queue timer I need to update our images and let's continue for from here this already done destructor heading for now everything seems fine yeah also this part done mm, let's continue with main cpp In this part I don't need here mm, I don't need this part just let's add first the header file Let's first of all define an object of video streamer. Video streamer. Let's call it video streamer. Then mm, let's define an image provider which we will send to QML site. Live image provider. Let's call it. And new from CV image provider after this to be able to control via on QML site we should make them a uh, connection with the CPP site and we will make it uh, with the root context but we will not with not yet edit to here include QML context QML context here then let's make context engine dot root context which is set context set context property and now inside we should name it for example video streamer let's call it video streamer you will see in QML side like this after this this will be connected to camera not camera video streamer object which we created same for limit image provider also root context set context property name live image provider which is coming from live image provider this is also done and also we should add our image by the add image provider let's call it live and coming from live image provider again I think seems fine what else we should do um, we should make Q object content connection for our for our how to say OpenCV image provider and video streamer class to each other because they will communicate with the each other let's connection them with video streamer and video streamer which part new image yeah new image we created before then live image provider 
to OpenCV image provider which is the update image or am I wrong yeah update image and this part also done let me check one more time yeah, we made the connection with Kremal side we made the connection to each other seems all fine let's make last part not last part but we didn't arrange here let's make here first mm, in this part we already calling in main cpp site the constructor of video streamer class let's make a connection in here in this connection we will make mm, we will connect our timer which is the update i think and true timer true timer until time out and what else on this which is video streamer stream video I think. or i'm wrong yeah stream video why i'm doing this because i wanna i wanna connect this stream video to uh, a timer because we will continuously sending our images then in here let's open it is cap we already defined in the class site open a video let's do it later then Ideas also let's starting the update let's start one in the destructor part don't forget to release and don't forget to stop timer in here we will basically streaming we already defined these are then we will define an image and how to convert this in maybe i can remember image not image frame frame that data frame that calls frame that rows what else you wanna not showing probably wanna we didn't define image in here yeah we didn't let's define it include true image yeah now should be ah, now showing still not showing it's okay mm, what does i need in here true image format oh, at least formats coming let's choose rgb should be i think rgb this one don't forget to swap then you can see different things in the screen and we will emit in here new image image yeah saves in here also done i hope so we at least we should control frame is available or not frame is right or not or cap opened or not but let's see let's do them later let's pass on qml site um not hello world open cv to qml let's define a rectangle mm, id image rectangle and anchor start fill parent image id open cv image what else anchor start fill or no yeah fill for now let's say fill and function 
before function let's make connection connections target live image provider which as you see it can easily see live image provider or uh, video streamer as you see both of them can be seen because we we make context in here that's why it can be seen in here easily but we will use in a live image provider mm. on image changed ah changed we should every time in here we should make this trigger bool mm. counter let's say false and let's make a function the name will be reload in here let's make counter switch mm. and now we should change our source in here oh, also we didn't define source in here let's make source which is image live or I'm wrong how was this one live image or image live should be like this if I'm not wrong in here let's change it live not live image live image id is equal to counter um here not really important the most important one here in every own image change triggered in here we will use open cv image dot reload yeah uh what we forgot huh cage cage is very important because if you not use this uh, it cannot continue to video maybe this is defaultly um, true you should make this false or opposite let's see I don't exactly remember everything seems fine up to now this will be trigger you should make giving a uh, Tom Jerry video or you can make it uh, zero to open your camera let's working it what will happen first time we are yeah it's working but giving some error or warning let's see this working why this working very quick First of all, let's solve this problem. Implicitly define on true. Hmm. Saying this is deprecated. They saying I don't know why deprecated should accept this one. I think. Yeah. This working well, but the problem in here, hmm. the this one we already downloaded as you see it's 24 fps but it's not working like that to be able to use like that fps using fps like that because we are updating that part in every one millisecond which is very quickly so we should make a calculation mm. 24 fps we should 24 41 if we make here 41 seems should be working well yeah this one working more better also you can open your camera let me do it my camera already closed but it will work mm, let's see it's dark it's all it's working now as you see in here 
warning, general famous warning coming. It's working but not showing because my camera closed. You can open your camera by typing in year zero or you have more camera one, two like that. But for now we doing this. I talk much. Maybe I couldn't explain well. I just wanted to show this one how to do this uh, in the other videos or yeah yeah in other videos better because this seems um, how to say this seems a bigger video also i wanna mention before mention something before closing the video um, let's make this not anchors not anchors sorry let's make it anchors dot horizontal size center parent dot horizontal center hmm. vertical center parent dot horizontal not horizontal vertical vertical center width let's say height let's say in here as you see the image seems not preserve active because we made it anchor start fill parent i don't know actually it's default literal or not let's make it fill mode image dot pro so um, what was the name active mm, should be ah, aspect fit yeah this one as you see in this field mode if you do like this it will be protect the resolution not resolution protect the aspect ratio of your video if uh, even if you your rectangle in this size it will crop and fit it to rectangle your video to be uh, this because in other way you can um, how to say you cannot protect your uh, aspect ratio in other time yeah what else I wanna talk about in this video you can add buttons in here you can add text box to choose uh, which camera or which video you wanna choose in here maybe in other videos we can mention about them the most important one i wanna talk now the video seems very good everything seems better but it's not exact this frame capture frame using the same thread GUI thread using the GUI thread with the QML they both using the same thread now it seems no problem because you using a very simple thing just streaming video but in the future in your project you will many things in here in this part many functions many things and take more time and this will causing your GUI will be shaking because this will be do this job then updating job this is a terrible way actually in this one also that's why Greco mentioning this is not a good way to image provider is not a good way to show videos but I solved this problem in my site I we will in the next video we will um, do this all these things while on other thread which by using by using Qthread, then we will uh, uh, we will um, updating the image in GUI thread with emit and slot signal and slot um, functionality of the Qt. Yeah. Sorry for making this video so long time. I will show share these links, which also this GitHub page. Also, I'm thinking to adding this. Uh, project to github you can directly copy from there thanks for all for this for watching this video see you